one. I'm uh, going to make this uh, coffee mug. We're going to wait a few minutes to see if anybody gets in here. And I'm going to show how this is done. We'll get a few people in the room. And it's going to be uh, the candy cup coffee mugs that I made. I've had requests on to show how I make these. I'm going to uh, let you see exactly what I'm going to do. If you can buy the uh, styrofoam ball, I mean the styrofoam squares, and you could cut them and put them in here. This one, this cup is a, a, a little big, so it's going to set down in there. I don't know if it's going to bring my stuff up. I'm going to uh, grab another cup to see if it works better. Um, that one kind of needs a, one of the styrofoam things. This one, let's see how this one fits. I bought these cups on clearance at the end of the area. Yeah, see, this will fit a lot better, and then it'll bring your stuff up further. And we can even get two out of this um, by cutting this down. I'm going to try to cut this ball in half. I'm sorry about the noise. This way you can get two out of them. I didn't think to stop and get some stuff. Everybody's been asking me to do one of these candy cups. They're super easy. Okay, so now, see, you can get two out of here. And we're going to push this down in there to make it uh, stay good. Okay, we'll put that there. Um, I'll use that one when um, I have uh, the squares, like the ones you use for greenery. So we got this cup down in here now, and like I said, I buy these at the end of the year uh, for 50 cents or sometimes four for a dollar. These come from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they came in boxes too. So they came in the, the box. It was from the Dollar Tree. So what you're going to do now is you got this in here. And we're going to, um, I bought these candy sprays. I have all different ones that I have bought and we're going to use these ones. I bought these on clearance. I think they were like four or five dollars and I paid 45 cents or something like that from Hobby Lobby in January. Uh, uh, this stuff goes on clearance dirt cheap. So what we're going to do is um, this is going to be the back of the cup and I'll turn it around so you can see. I'm going to put this down in here so that we have where it's going to go. And then we're going to build on this. And you could, if you have one of the sprays that has a lot of stuff, you can use the separate picks, but these are, um, skewers we're gonna use a few of these and then let me uh, i'm gonna put a little bit of i don't know if it's hot yet so i got the hole where that's gonna be sometimes you'll have to shoot some hot glue down in there to make it stay really good that way it don't move around on you and we'll just let that sit for a minute that way it stays where we want it to stay and it's not flopping around. With the big uh, square green ones, it goes all the way through and you have more support. Once this hits through the bottom of the top of this, there's no more support down there. And this is pretty heavy. So I'm trying to just hold it up there, make it stay where I want. I'm going to put a little more around the back. And it just builds it up and keeps it where we want it. Okay, so now we have this. Hi, Chris. I'm making one of the candy cups um, that everybody's been asking me to show them how to make it. Um, they're good for Christmas gifts, craft fair, and you put candy on them. Something a little different this time. I'm going to add um, some extra thing. Like I made these uh, little boxes. Right here. Uh, 
if you go to what is it called uh the paper pixie she does tutorials and stuff on all these boxes and i had went through and i made a bunch of different boxes from her to see which ones would fit and i think that this one was uh oh let me see i got them all here oh i'm trying to remember which one this was I uh, can't remember on that one, but I know the little tiny one. Oh, this was, uh, let me get my measure out here. This one was a three by one half by three. So three by three by one half. And then the smaller one was two by one half by two. So what I did was I thought I would change it up and do something different and experiment. This has hot cocoa in it. And the stamp that I used was from uh, May May Made It. It has hot cocoa and it has uh, coffee sayings in it. I bought it a couple years ago. This was a new stamp I got off of uh, AliExpress. And it has a little saying with tea. So I put tea bags in this one. I put some hot cocoa in this one. And then I put marshmallows in this one. So to give it a little bit something different. And I made this little uh, guy here. So I'm going to change it up and I'm going to put some of that in there. Which I help for really good fillers. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some of these uh, skewers in here. Because we're going to attach our candy and our other stuff to this. So we're going to put one over here and if you need to break them down and make them smaller, you can. But right now I want the height on these and so that they'll fan out. And then I had some little sticks that we can use. These are just candy sticks. And then this will build it up for us too. And then I'm just going to go around and I'm going to put some hot glue around those to hold those in place. These are really simple, easy to make. I bought a bunch of candy. Um, I didn't get it on clearance though at Halloween. You make sure that you don't get the ones that have uh, Halloween decorations. I bought the big, huge bags of mixed candy bars. And that's what I'm using on here in M&M's. I bought a couple different kinds. And that's what we're going to put on here. Normally I wait till after Halloween and I go buy a ton of it. But this year, the stores didn't stock the stuff like they used to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there. I'm going to put a little dab of glue on the back of this M&M's. And we're going to put this on the back of here and make sure that it, we stick that there. You can use tape if you want, but sometimes I find tape will loosen up and your stuff will all be sliding once you're moving it around. If you want to double secure it. You know, it's fine. It, uh, don't use a super hot glue gun. On these ones that are like this, I'm just going to fold the flap open. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. And then I'm going to wrap that um, flap over my stick, which helps hold it in place. And then we're just going to build from there. And we're going to do the same thing, you know, with the ones that have a flap on them. We're going to put them around and wrap them, you know, with a flap. So, so far, it's looking like this. And then we're going to do some more. I want to see about putting him on here. I made this with a little Hershey Nuggets. And I'm going to glue him to this stick. I'm going to just go down this stick. These don't take a lot of time and they don't cost a lot of money to build, to make. They're an uh, excellent gift. Everybody loves them. So we're going to put him here in the middle. 
And then what I want to do is I want to add some of my boxes because I'm going to, uh, like I said, I wanted to try something different besides all candy. And so I figured I would do it. If you don't want to use like the boxes with the tea and stuff, remember, just fill it with candy. Uh, that's the tea one. So now the hot cocoa one I'm going to put over here. I'm going to put glue on my stick so I know where I'm at. And I hope that these aren't too uh, heavy for this. And I'm probably going to put some tape on the back of this one to secure it really good. But it seems to be working. I wasn't too sure if it would because of the, uh, like I said, the weight of the cocoa. And I'm just taping along the back of this stick. to make sure that it holds very good. That's what it's looking like so far. Now I'm gonna put the marshmallows right here with the cocoa. Okay, so I'm gonna put marshmallows in here. This way, um, it's kind of like an adult coffee cup. It has uh, hot cocoa, it has tea, you know, it's not all candy. I sell so many of these, and I do so many of them for gifts. Everybody wants them all the time. Can you make me one of those for Christmas again? They'll say they love them. So I'm just going to retape this one. I said, like, just to be for sure on these boxes, because they are, you know, the, the marshmallows aren't heavy, but the hot cocoa was real heavy. Okay, so now that's what we're looking like. Let's see. Now I'm going to take... Um, I have some candy suckers, and I'm going to put them in there. And I'm just going to push them down. I also want to put um, some more candy on this one. And like I said, these are simple, easy to make, especially right now. They're good gifts that you can make at home so you don't have to go out shopping with all this crazy stuff going on and then I'm going to put another stick in here because I want to add some more candy I'm going to bring that up there and this sucker a little bit up here And then we're going to put some candies on there. The way that gets plenty of candy on here. I've been having so many requests to make different things that I've been making and I've been trying. I got this whole week off because the lady that I take care of went to Pennsylvania with her son for a week. So I, well, two weeks. So I got a little break and I decided... This is the time I'm going to try to do some videos, catch everything up, and I haven't been on that a lot lately, but that is why. And I, my craft fair is this coming Saturday and the following Saturday. I got two of them, so, and hopefully I got enough of these that I don't got to rush around and make a bunch more. But as you can see, we're just filling this in. This kind of, I think, needs to be a little more. See, now that it's glued in there, I'm not going to be able to bend it up a little bit more. But it'll look all right once we put fillers in there. And then I'm going to use, you don't have to, you could fill with candy down here, but I thought I would use these that I got. These were... I think they were a dollar a piece or 50 cent a piece in the beginning from Hobby Lobby. I think they were a dollar and I got them for a quarter. So I've been util utilizing all the stuff that I received. And I don't really like to hot glue this to the cup. Um, you could put a little dab because then they got to try to take that hot glue off the cup and I did one like that and it doesn't come off it's really hard to scratch it off but see this is a this will bring it up and make it really pretty like that 
and then we're just gonna add some more candy to it we're gonna add some we we'll add another sucker over in here i bought these suckers um i think from the dollar tree there's 10 in a pack oh, my little bells came off i'll put them back on in a minute and i'll just add a little dab of glue to that to make it um stand up and then they can use these um things like this in a you know a christmas arrangement whatever they want to do and i do have some of these that i bought on clearance the lollipop sticks which are in the red and green which come out really pretty to use so we can use them and it's just you want to put on it and make it you know how full you want to make it it's up to you on how much you want to invest into it I'll put the green one over here I'm gonna put a red one over here because there's so much green and we're just filling it up is all we're doing I'll try to get that one back out. Yeah, that way I can angle it better. It's kind of spread to where I don't want it. I want it a lot closer. There, that looks a lot better. And sometimes, it, you know, you just got to Move them around. So now it's looking like this. And this one's got a lot of weight on it too. So now we're just going to do some more fillers in here. Let's see. we got... What, do we, what don't we have in here? We could put some of these little Snickers on there. Bite size. And I like putting the glue on there, like I said. And just using the wrap to hold it in place. Let's see. Um, I said getting low on candies. And put another Reese's on there. something for the other side Let's say we'll put a Hershey's over there on that side we know everybody likes candy and these are great for somebody you don't know what to get you know as long as they're not a diabetic I guess because of all the stuff in it okay and then we'll put another one of these. Oh, we didn't put one. We'll put another one of these here. Or do I got a different Twix? I got a different Twix down there too. So we'll put a different Twix over here. But these are like so simple to make. Uh, Put that back in there. Find the little hole that I had. And then put a little dab of glue around that stick. Hold that in place. And there's our candy cup. We could put um, a bowl down here on the bottom. Put a bowl right here. And I have these red hots. I don't know if I want to put them in there. Kind of blocks my M&Ms. But I was going to put them in here, but I think they just block too much. Then let's see what else we're going to do. 
we can take a little tiny bit of glue on the side of a Reese cup and we can just fill in around the bottom of the cup right here a little bit to uh, you know cover up a little bit in the front and on this little bit there there and I'm gonna put one over here on this side get all these things off here Then I got to put those bells back on, but I must have dropped them somewhere. Here's one. Here's two. So I got to put the bells back on his little belly. Can you? You can add whatever you want to add. They're so easy to make. And this is our candy cup. I'm trying to make it so you can really see it there. But this is what this is like now. I was going to put some tea biscuits in there too. So I don't want to cover up all my little things here. So let me see where I'm going to put these. Maybe I'll glue them in the back to fill in the hole or put them up in here. That way they got them to go with the T, I thought. Let's see. Uh, let's see where to put these. Yeah, I think I'll put them way down at behind the M&M's down there. And then let's see if I got some more M&M's. I know that I ran out of the M&M's a lot. I used so many bags. Oh, I must have ran out of them. I was gonna put another bag of M&M's in there, but this is what it looks like. They're so simple, so easy, so quick to make. Um, The foam, are you talking about, uh, these were from the dollar store uh, for foam. But it's easier if you buy the foam squares and cut them down to fit in there. Or if you don't want to mess with all that, you can cut one of these in half. But like I said, the bigger cup, it goes all the way down to the bottom. Um, on these bigger cups, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It go all the way down. I mean, and you can do that, but then you need longer skewers and longer sticks. But normally I buy the squares that you would use for flower arrangements, and I cut them down and I stick them in the cup. Is that what you were asking, Chris? Yeah, I buy them at the Dollar Tree. And I was going to get some the other day, but they were out. And I bought these way before Christmas stuff when they had them in stock. Because normally this time of year, you're not going to get them nowhere at all. And then um, I was going to show you the candy jars. I don't have um, any more of the big jars. But I do have these little ones I bought on clearance from Valentine's Day last year. I paid 50 cents for them, I think it was. And what I did, too, on these... Uh, these were pretty simple. I got some mason jar ones that I have in my craft fair. And I bought these sticks. They were regular, I think, $2.99 a piece, which I never would have paid that. And I got them for $0.29 cent a piece. Uh, so I just pull this out. And remember, a lot of times I use a bigger one. But this is, this is good for... A small candy jar and I take him and I fold back his scarf and I put some glue on him 
these are really simple too to make. They're fast, easy. And that's why I said look for um, bargains in January and February for next year. Um, that way you're not spending a fortune on it. And I just glue him to the top of the jar. That way the jar is still functional. You know, they can put it back on. They can reuse this anytime for a candy jar. If you're going to put decorations on there, you, you just got to work with the lid to make it um, work. So then all I do now is I take some different candies and I'll fill the jar up with different candies. Try to put a little bit of whatever I can fit in there and make it pretty full. So now we got all the candies in there and then you put your lid on and now's the time if you're going to decorate your can or do whatever you're going to do you know, to it, I'll take um, some of these, I'll take these sprays and I'll put them on here in the back to decorate it up a little bit more. Uh, let's see what else we got. That's too big. I bought these bells. I've been trying to use them on stuff, but they're really too big. I bought a bunch of these bowls and I'm going to take this bow and I'm going to give them a bow on here. But these are like really super quick, fast ideas. They don't cost a lot of money, you know, if you purchase for the following year. And I'm going to put a bow on here. And then I'll put some kind of saying or something on here. Or you can just leave them here that way. But I probably I have some um, snowflake things. Let me look for them real quick. I have some snowflake stickers. I had some really pretty ones, but I don't know what it did with them. I've been trying to eliminate my mess. I'm going to put three of those on. Because then when you put something like this foam sticker or, you know, I could print something with my um, silhouette on vinyl and put it on here and Mod Podge it and then you can make it washable. Or you could use the clear stickers. So we'll just give them a little snowflake here. Just something to decorate them. That way if you want to wash it, it, you know, the jar. But these are super, super quick and cheap. That one didn't uh, punch out right, I guess. But I bought all these foam stickers. They were five something a bag. I paid 59 cents and there's like 500 of them in there. I'll never use all these stickers. I'm going to donate a bunch to school. So and then we'll put one down here. And I'll get one more sticker out of here. So, we'll just put three little snowflakes on it. But these are simple, easy. And like I said, they make really good gifts for if you work in an office and you've got a couple really good friends there that you want to give something to. A teacher. And that's what I got a couple of these that I'm doing up for um, Bailey and Caleb's teacher for them to give to a gift. And then some little teacher quote things with some plaques that um, let them know that we really appreciate them being there teaching our kids, especially in these times. Right now they just canceled Bailey's school. Caleb's was their back. It's been back and forth. And then... We'll put this one down here a little bit. And then I also have uh, 
these little diamonds that I'll put in the middle of the star so it doesn't look so plain. Uh, I'll turn him around in a minute. I'm sorry. I know that you guys can't see, but I don't know how to make that camera whatever way I angle it. It doesn't pick up everything. And I'm just putting these little bling on here. And then I have... This little sticker, it says Merry Christmas. We'll see if we can use it somewhere. We'll put Merry Christmas in the back. So now we have our little candy jar. We got a little snowflakes on there. And I just put the Merry Christmas on the back. You could put some kind of greenery here if you want. I don't have anything small. And I want to save this for another candy cup. So um, on some of the other ones, I had some small stuff. But I think I used it all. And then normally, like, I'll, I'll attach, um, let me see. Let's see what I have here. These on clearance too last year. They were a dollar at the Dollar Tree and they clearanced them out uh, for a for dollar. So I picked up a bunch of them. I use a lot of bells. People seem to like a lot of things with bells. And then I'll attach this to the side. And I did have some I attached to my cups. And I'm just going to attach this to the side so he's got some little jingly there. I don't know what it is, but people really like stuff with bells on it. I think maybe because it's a noisemaker. I don't know. And we'll just put that down in there. All right, now he's got a little set of bells on him. And then it's kind of cute. It don't cost much, and you're done in a few minutes, and you could go through and whip through and make a ton of those. And like I said, the best thing to do is, even after Valentine's Day, things that, like this doesn't have Valentine on it, but the package did. Um, I don't know if I have another one that it that's packaged up right now. I think I took it off. And that's like the way I made these. And I hope that you guys will try them. They're, they're, like I said, really super nice gifts and easy to make. And everybody's been asking me for tutorials on them to, you know, see how they were made. And I just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you guys how I made them. And I hope that you'll try it and have a blessed day you know, have an excellent relaxing day. I know I am. And thank you once again. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you click the bell, it'll tell you when I'm coming on. I know I didn't give much notice for this, but I'm trying to jump on before my husband starts um, work because we have, uh, dial it's like dial-up internet here in Michigan, <laughs> where we are. We're in the boonies. We don't have the high speed, so it one of us gets on, it kicks the other one off. So thank you very much and have a blessed day.